so our aim is to create some mini games like tic tac toy rock paper scissors roller dice now all these games are gui based and we are developing using tikinter and python so let's let's see our first game which is rock paper scissors now we are importing from two libraries that is tikinter and random now we are taking root is equal to tk tk which mainly represents the main window or interface of an application so we are setting the root dot title root dot title as rock paper scissor root dot icon bitmap rock dot ico and width we are setting is false and height false so we cannot expand or contract the window because we have resizable we have set false now we are declaring global click is equal to true now we are setting each image for example rock hand photo paper hand photo scissor hand photo photo images and here we are setting the file name which is r and photo is r hand dot png and for etc these are the symbol of hand position of each rock paper scissor and it's rock paper scissors photo which is here and the wind blues and tie photos we are declaring button variables r hand button p hand button and s hand button which is concurrently rock rock paper and scissor defining play function now we are accessing these three global variables r hand button p hand button s hand button now for r hand button we are setting root image we, which we are setting is r hand photo which is which is here r hand photo which is here r hand photo and command we are using is u pick and we are passing rock rock and similarly for the paper paper hand button we are doing the same and passing the paper argument and for the stone we are also doing the same now we have to arrange them in the grid like row 0 column 0 row 0 column 0 row 0 column 1 and row 0 column 2 now computer fit function Com choice here we are declaring choice and random choice variable and from that random dot choice which which we imported the library import dot random from that we are choosing any of the any of the these three options that is rock paper and scissor and it the computer will randomly return the choice now we are creating u pick function and we are passing our choice as a parameter now we are accessing the global click function which is we declared here So computer pick is equal to computer pick function which will return the ch return our choice win and lose algorithms which we will set if a click is equal to do then if our choice is rock then automatically our choice will be compared with computer answers so for rock our three possibilities rock paper and scissor if we rock and rock is same then tie for example let me see if we choose rock and it will choose scissor then we will win which is here and then also for the same for the rock and rock paper scissor everything you will set as that click is equal to false after that the click will the the variable which we will declare it will become false and now for if our choice is paper then computer pick will be also compared with the three for example paper with rock paper with paper and paper with scissor and results will be as the same that lose tie and win photo so all of this function our win and lose function with concurrently compare with each our choices and computer choices and then result will display as our usual and if after winning the game for example after the results the we will set the click as false and then we have to again then 
we will choose our choices and again go back to the um again go to the play game so to initialize the play game play function and to initialize the main loop so here is our total game that is loop paper scissor and here you can see the outputs it's given so now let's see roll a dice roll a dice game so similarly from back as we we declare that random and tick the library now from the pillow module we are importing image and image tk libraries root dot tk okay. okay also explain why you need the tk library yes uh, for the mainly the main window of application yes very nice uh, which is uh, the whole interface we which we are just a second okay so this is roller dice and from the pillow module we are importing this image and image tk library now we are setting root is equal to tk which is mostly you know the main window of an application now geometry we which we are setting is 400 cross 400 and also from from the above we we know that we are setting width and height false so we cannot expand or contract the window now title we are setting is roll dice and the background color which is bf 80 f now images of dice we have stored it in array because we want the random choice random randomly we want to pick from the computer so from there we have set random dot choice and it will show any dice from the from these six dice from randomly computer will generate from the two now we were we are giving a label for each image to keep the reference label one is equal to tkinter dot label root image one and root image two now we are keeping them as a reference that label dot one dot image label one dot image is equal to image one and label dot label two dot image is equal to image two for arranging them uh, for doing the placement in left and right we are packing the widgets that is label one dot pack which is an inbuilt function we are using tkinter dot left and label two dot pack function which is side is equal to declaring tkinter dot right side now the function which is roll dice now roll dice is equal to image one is equual to image tk tkinter dot photo image and image it will open which is randomly chosen randomly chosen by the dice which from the here randomly chosen any of the dice mm. And label one dot configure we will then update the address and reference of the image and similarly we will perform for image two that is random choice and then giving the label to an image reference now button here is roll a dice which we constructed and then the text it is written roll dice foreground black and command which will execute on press is roll underscore dice which is here so similarly for button dot pack and root dot main loop for calling the main window tk root tk so let us see roller dice now let's see about tic tac toy our next and the last one similarly we are importing tkinter and this time we will need tkinter dot message box to show the output result output result root is equal to tk main window tk interface root dot title um tic tac toy and we are setting root dot resizable as false Click global flip is equal to true and global count is equal to zero. Now we are declaring variables for each of this button one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. And 
photos which will require is given x photo is equal to photo image and file is x.png and file is o.png now play function now arranging for each button in grid and for the function function declaration of button button one button one is equal to button we are creating root height nine width nine relief reach bg is equal to f2 we are giving them color background color text variable which we are setting is btn1 which we declared previously here and then command which we want is press 100 which is here press number row column so we are passing these parameters on the on press of 100 now we are arranging each of them in grid row 0 column 0 and button 2 dot grid row, row 0 column 1 so similarly we will declare of button 2 and we will declare press and we will pass the parameters on press is 2 0 and 1 similarly we are doing for each of the every button till 9 and arranging them in grid for example here till row 0 1 and 2 0 1 and 2 and now from there we want the row 1 so row 1 in column 0 and row 1 column 1 row 1 column 2 and similarly for 2 0 2 1 and 2 2 we are arranging them in 3 cross 3 grid here now press function number row and column the parameters we we need to pass for the press function now we are accessing click click and count function which previously we declared click and count if click our set click is equal to true then label photo is equal to label root image x photo we are choosing the x photo for the for the x and we are also setting bt1 dot set which variable which we, we which we created bt1 is equal to we are setting the x which we are setting the x and similarly for zero if we click zero then bt1 dot set it will become zero now we are se we are setting the variables values on clicking the clicking the buttons in this functions press function and it will set the count is equal to plus one and click will become false after each and every if we execute x then x x click false and btn dot set o and then we will check each and after each and every every button press that who, who is winning for the combination which will require are given for example x is in here here and here then x will win or o will win in any of the sequence these are the sequences required so we are getting the values if this any of these values is possible or in the in the chart then it will automatically show that x wins see here we can see x wins and it will clear after winning any of them it will clear winning losing or tying it will clear the hole which we will selected see here. now for similarly we are setting the winning parameters for o button and we are setting them variables video and setting the show info o wins now again the count will become zero clear function which will do after each and everyone if anyone wins count zero and clear and then again executing the play function else if count is equal to nine and nobody wins then automatically it will show tie game and click will again become true and count will zero again and clear so for clearing we are again setting the but bt1.set is a, a null 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 in everyone and we are executing play function again 
and root dot main loop for the execution of our game. So if you want the project project source code, then you can go below in the description and get the source code. 